In this video, I'm going to use a red laser module, um, laser with detector made by WaveShare, and set it up using it as a tripwire device so uh, you can use it for intrusion detection. There's, there's other things you could use this for, for like robots, for obstacle detection. It won't give you distance, it'll only tell you if something is reflecting the laser back into the sensor or not. And I'm going to use two different methods for this tripwire circuit. The first is going to be an Arduino Uno, and the second is going to be just a simple uh, 555 timer integrated circuit chip. Okay, so this is the module, and there, as you can see, there's three pins on it. There's um, the VCC, the ground, and then the data out. Um, the VCC, this can run from 2.5 volts to 5 volts. Um, on, in these demonstrations, I'm going to be using 5 volts. Um, this is the, the laser itself, this little brass colored thing. Uh, the laser comes out of there, and then this top part is the detector. So if, um, if the laser is not reflected back into the detector, then it's going to uh, output high on digital out. If, it, if a reflection is detected, it's going to go low on digital out. And the range for this, um, I haven't measured it, but the stated range um, in the data sheet is typically 0.8 meters and up to 1.5 meters. The, the wavelength of the red laser is 650 nanometers. The detector can actually detect anywhere from 650 to 950 nanometers, so that's into the red and then into the near infrared uh, range. And then for the tripwire, for these demonstrations, I'm going to use this little alarm module, and it's it also has three pins. Um, let's see, uh, ground here on the left, positive on the right, and this uses five volts. And then this middle pin is labeled out, but it's actually an input pin, so. Um, this module uh, sounds an alarm if the input pin is low, and it doesn't sound an alarm if it's high, so you want to keep it high normally, and then um, to set it off, you want to bring that pin low. Okay, so this is the Arduino sketch, and it's, it's really small. Um, I'm defining uh, two pins. The, the laser uh, detector input pin goes to Arduino pin 2 and the alarm output pin to Arduino pin 4. Um, I set the pin modes here. Um, write the alarm pin high initially. Recall high means no alarm. Okay, so then it just loops through and reads from the laser input pin. And if the input pin is high, that means no, no laser reflection has been detected. It's going to keep the alarm pin high, so no alarm. Otherwise, it's going to set it to low and then the alarm's going to signal for two seconds. Okay, so this is the circuit hook up, hooked up to the Arduino, and um, again, there's the alarm, and there's the laser module, and right now the laser is pointing up at the ceiling, and it's too far away to be detected, so you can see the dot up there, and so what I'm going to do then is to simulate someone crossing the tripwire is just take this piece of paper and let's see there it goes so just this could simulate maybe somebody walking through a doorway or coming in through a window um, hit the laser it's reflected back and then that sets off the alarm Okay, so now I've got the circuit hooked up to a 555 timer chip, okay, and so this chip is in monostable mode. So basically when the trigger pin goes low, which is pin 2, um, and that's hooked into the, uh, the laser output pin. Uh, so when the trigger pin goes low, that's going to set the discharge pin, which is pin 3, high. And it's going to set it high for a certain length of time based on the values of pins uh, 6 and 7, which are the threshold and discharge pins. So there's basically an RC circuit. You can see the, um, the resistor and that capacitor there. And you can calculate those values. This, this is a little table. 
that displays the time. So basically I put a 22 microfarad capacitor and a 220k ohm resistor and so then that's where I'm going to get 5.3 seconds. So that's how long the the discharge the, the output pin is going to go uh, high for. But recall the alarm pin needs a low a low value of zero volts in order to set the alarm. So I've actually I'm using a CD4069 hex inverter to invert that signal. So basically, uh, if the uh, and I just set it off. So if the laser is detected, uh, it's going to set the alarm for five seconds. And again, I have it pointed at the roof, and I know I just accidentally set it off, but. Uh, Anyway, here's uh, here's again that paper setting it off five seconds. So if if you didn't have an Arduino, um, you could still set up a, a tripwire circuit using this timer chip in mono stable mode. Um, you could, uh, like I said, you could put this in a doorway. It doesn't have a lot of range, um, so a doorway, window, that kind of thing to detect. Uh, intruders and instead of having an alarm you could hook it up to something else possibly maybe a Raspberry Pi uh, that would read that pin and uh, Raspberry Pi could I don't know send an email to you or notify you something like that so uh, anyway hope you enjoyed the video